We have an example problem here. A marching band has separated into two halves. Each half is marching towards the other at a speed of one meter per second. When each half is playing a note with a frequency 256 hertz, how much does one half hear the other half out of tune? Assume the speed of sound in air is 340 meters per second. Okay, so I have essentially one group traveling towards another group. They're all traveling at one meters per second towards each other. It doesn't really matter which side we say is the source and the other the observer, because they're all playing, or sorry, yeah, they're all playing the note. They're all listening. So if I say the half on the left is the source, they would be traveling in my picture to the right at one meter per second. Then we'll be talking about this other half on the right that's moving to the left at one meter per second. We wanna know what they're hearing, this observer. And we're told that each half is playing a note of 256 hertz. Two, five, six hertz. We're told to use the speed of sound as 340 meters per second. And we're just trying to figure out what we hear. What frequency do we hear? And then from that, we can figure out how far out of tune we hear it. So our equation for the frequency we hear because of the motion. So this is the Doppler effect. So we either hear a higher or a lower frequency because of this motion. Since we're moving towards the other half, we're assuming to we will hear something higher. So just writing out the equation for the Doppler effect for sound that allows us to have both the observer and the source moving. So we're told the actual frequency, the frequency they're actually playing is 256 hertz. We're using the speed of sound as 340. The observer and the source are both moving at one meter per second. Now again, the signs in the both the numerator and de denominator, the top of the two signs listed is for motion towards, the bottom is for motion away. In the numerator, we think about what the observer is doing. The observer is walking towards the source. So we see my, our picture, we're walking to the left and the source is on the left. So we will use a positive sign, the top of those two signs. Similarly, in the denominator, we choose the sign based off of what the source is doing. The source is moving towards the observer. So we use the top of the two signs to calculate this overall frequency we hear. So plugging in these numbers, I'm getting 257. Sorry, there's a lag on my computer, so I'm waiting for my seven to show up. So we're hearing a frequency that's a little bit higher. It's not a whole lot higher because the motion is not very fast. As far as the question though, it wants to know how much does one half hear the other half out of tune? 
So since we know they're playing a note of 256 hertz, the one half hears the other half, and this was 0 0.1, 1.51 hertz higher, or higher out of tune. I'm writing tune as like cartoon, and I know it's wrong, but I couldn't think of how to spell it right. That's very silly of me. So one half of the marching band will hear the sound coming from the other half as a frequency of 1.51 hertz higher.